Good afternoon, Paul. How are you? I'm well, thanks. So fun, Sarah. And yourself? Very good. Today we've got Paul Gosney, a dear old friend uh, who we used to share a studio with together here in Balmain, Sydney, many years ago. He's since moved to Melbourne. We're just going to have a quick look at his favorite images from some of his commercial work. I'll be putting his website details at the bottom if you want to look through further. As you can see, he focuses a lot on like high-end resorts, hotels, interior, exterior, but he's also a great lover of the outback in particular and uh, people and landscapes. So I'll uh, hand it over to you, Paul, to tell us about your uh, project. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land, uh, the Ananu, and pay my respect to elders past and present. So the West McDonald area, this is uh, an image of the West McDonald Ranges, not far from Alice Springs, uh, as you're entering the ranges. It's a obviously a drone picture. I find that the environment up there is quite unique. You get, and as you'll see through many of the pictures, such a wide variety of, of landscape um, from, the, from the broad escarpments to areas like, um, which we're more traditionally familiar with. This is like um, Uluru, Karajuta, is a sandstone uh, monolith. Um, this photograph was, the, was taken just after sunset. You've got the moon rising over the, over the domes. And actually, traditionally, the, the owners of the area, the uh, Ananu, prefer you to photograph at least three domes in your photograph to avoid revealing sacred places. Moving on, this is Kings Canyon. Uh, Kings Canyon is a fabulous place where you can do a, a rim walk up high above the canyon, but I quite like going in down to the recess of the canyon where you've got these rather lush eucalyptus forest. This is a little further on from Kings Canyon. It's uh, just near Ormiston Gorge. Um, but on this morning, I was met with a mist, which seemed to be quite rare. So it was quite nice to scramble up the, the side of the hill here to photograph the, the shale and the light coming off the, the vegetation, which if you notice is burnt. So the whole country, this area at the, the point of when I was there, was um, it suffered a, a large fire. Now for millennia, the, the local custodians of the, the country had been uh, using fire to manage the land. Um, and it's interesting to see how quickly the, the landscape returns after the, an event like this has gone through. So this is an area, um, a township called Uendamu. I've been visiting at Uendamu to do a portrait series for um, a couple of years now. Uh, and this was during a ceremony. Uh, it was one of the, uh, the kids was dressed up in a, in a superhero outfit and um, we managed to do a portrait amongst others. This image was, uh, finalist in the Head On Photo Festival. And I'm looking forward to going back and continuing this series. Hopefully we'll be working with the children to create a, um, a cookbook to uh, aid their uh, development. Uh, this is an elder from the uh, Uendamu area. His name is Otto. Otto is a terrific character. He took me for several trips around the area. And this was a, taking me up to a place called Two Mile where he was um, born and raised. Um, Otto's uh, totem is the Milky Way. The night skies that you find in Central Australia are just incredible. Some of the darkest spots to be able to go and point your, um, your camera. Now we've sort of been on a bit of a circle and back to just outside of Alice Springs. This is some of the, the red earth. And as I said in the beginning, you get such a wide variety of uh, to landscapes from the, from the red earth, which people often associate with Central Australia to the, the rocky areas, the barren, and then the, the lush areas of the eucalyptus forests. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to continuing to, to visit the area. Um, it's a wonderful place and, uh, and I like it a lot. So back to you, Thank Alfonso. You. Thank you so much, Paul. That was fantastic. I really appreciate you talking about your little passion project there. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, work together in uh, late August or early October when we're trying to do these uh, tours. Um, so there'll be a lot of people uh, that are dying to go and travel around Australia since we can't leave anyway. Just thank you so much, Paul, today for your time. You're welcome. Thank you, Alfonso. Catching up soon. All the best.